All right, the Shilling Show rolls on on this Friday edition, and something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and we have done occasionally over the years, but to really have a relationship with the sponsors on this radio station, on this program, so you can get to know them personally, like we did last week with B&L Dumpsters and Tom Schlegel, and we've done it over the years whenever we can. Today, I'm very pleased to welcome in Dr. Brian Praxey. You've been hearing here on this show and on this station. And Brian, welcome to The Shilling Show. Thanks, Rob. I'm a big fan. I'm really happy to be here as well. Well, I'm glad that you're here and you help a lot of people. And I think one of the reasons I wanted to talk to you was to find out a little bit about you and your interest in helping people and then how you're helping people. So you're actually the author of a book called Reversing Neuropathy, Making the Impossible Possible. And I know that's a that's a specialty of yours, and we're going to get into that in a minute. But tell us a little bit about you and how you got into, why were you attracted to helping and healing people? That's a fair enough question. As as a basketball enthusiast here sitting here with a cast on my right hand, I've had multiple injuries. Most of them are in ankles and feet. So at, in my practice where I do a lot of manual therapies, I started working on ankles, started working on feet, and just really, I don't know if you want to call it a foot fetish. That's kind of an odd thing to say, but I just really enjoy p- helping people with their feet. So that led me into one of the most common foot conditions, at least metabolically, and that is peripheral neuropathy. Mm-hmm. We hear that term, and I think there's probably some people who may be suffering from it but really don't know what that means. So why don't you do your best to describe for us what that I is? I can definitely do that. It's yeah. pretty much Latin, right? So neuropathy, neuro means nerves, and opathy means you got a problem with them nerves that yeah. are farthest out. So we're usually talking about the nerves that are way far away from the heart. That's going to be your feet, your toes, your hands, and your fingers. And a problem with means they're dying, they're being killed, they're damaged, and when that happens, they really hurt. So this is a pain issue. Um, How does it manifest itself, in other words, or is it different across the spectrum? It's different across the spectrum. It can definitely be burning. That's probably burning and pain are probably the top conditions I hear about. But oddly enough, people, as the nerves die, they can feel numbness, they can feel tingling. Mm. When that happens, when the brain doesn't know where the feet are, you lead to balance problems. You can have burning, you can have numbness, you can have tingling, you can have all of them at the same time, which seems odd. How can that happen? But it does. It's very debilitating when it gets there. There's a connection or there could be a connection with diabetes? Diabetes is the number one cause of peripheral neuropathy. There's over 100 conditions, 102 now with COVID and COVID vaccine. Yeah. But 100 known causes, diabetes tops the list. 30% of all pe- all people with peripheral neuropathy have diabetes as the cause. What are, are, there, are there other known causes or other known connections? Absolutely. So uh, on down the list, we have things like chemotherapy can cause it. Mm. Other medications can cause it. Um, Cipro and other types of antibiotics uh-huh. can cause it. Mold. Um, like I said, uh, Guillain-Barre, there's, there's 100 known causes. So if if someone is thinking, well, I might have diabetes, like this, and this could be leading to some of these nerve issues, what would they be looking for? I understand diabetes is, is far more prevalent in today's society, and this may be diet-related or, or personal health weight-related than it has ever been. Very good. We're actually coming at a good time. There's, there's, um, we just celebrated the 100th year of the discovery of insulin. So Mm. really, diabetes is an insulin discussion. Two types of diabetes. One is insulin dependent, like your body's not making it. You need to have injections for that. And thank God that was found and discovered. That's saving Mm. lives for sure. Type two is a different scenario. Your body makes insulin. It may not be making as much as it should or ideally, but then you get into insulin resistance, which means the body's really not doing a very good job handling and dealing with the insulin you become resistant Mm -hmm. against it and basically insulin is that hormone that's created by the body that takes glucose or sugar energy out of the blood from our diet and disperses it throughout the body so we can move around digest things think and all the other things that humans do so dr prax um i have talked to people before who who claim almost to have been healed from diabetes and, and we don't normally hear that term you mostly learn to live with it or to manage it but is it possible to reverse that situation? Now, for type 1, we mm-hmm. haven't really found a way to reverse that. Yeah. that that's a pancreas that just done blowed out, and yeah. it's not working very well. But type 2, the, the news is, is that it is a lifestyle-related condition. Unfortunately, we used to call it type 2 adult-onset diabetes because you had to mess up your lifestyle, right. meaning diet and exercise for a long time. You had to be an adult, like 50, 60, 70, 80 years old before you would develop Mm -hmm. that. 
we're starting to see it in kids and youngsters now. So we're really kind of getting away from the adult onset. But to answer your question, is type 2 reversible? It is. And this is what I tell my patients. It's a, it's a tough pill to swallow, right. but I say, look, you got yourself here by eating the way you've been eating and not exercise the way you've been exercising. If you can swallow that pill, then you can also unget yourself here. But you yeah. got to change what you're doing. And I'm I'm imagining that this is something that you guide people through because it's it's easy for you to say that, but I think in each individual case it would require a analysis and then counseling and, and kind of follow through. Man, you nailed it right yeah. there, and that's something that I talk about in the book as well. So it's a bold statement saying reversing neuropathy, yeah. or even for that matter, reversing diabetes. Both are reversible, but they should know it is not easy. But you nailed it right there, Rob. The first thing we have to look at is lifestyle. And I missed one thing. that the, yeah. the top one, I would say in order based on research, is proper sleep. Wow. Diet and exercise. So this is a huge one, and it's a little a field here, but since you brought it up, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people these days that are suffering from improper sleep. In fact, I think it's more the rule than the exception that people yeah. have all manner of things from apnea to uh, maybe they're spending too much time in front of screens that they don't sleep well. So how, is that a fixable issue? That's a fixable issue as well, but there can be metabolic issues, the number one case being diabetes, yeah. peripheral neuropathy. But there's also pain issues. You might have severe knee pain. You might, like in my case, you might yeah. have some hand pain. You could have chronic headaches. These things can keep us up as well. Sleep, like 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 uh, sugar regulation, has mm. a lot to do with hormones and the proper hormone release. So right. it gets to be so many different variables in order for a human or any animal, for that matter, to get on their cycles and be able to fall asleep, stay asleep, and then, of course, wake up. So those are all regulated by metabolic and, and hormonal situations, which amazingly enough are, are related to the foods that we're eating, the, the, the habits that we're getting into. Right. Like you said, screen time. Yeah. One of the worst things you can do right before bed is to watch the news. Mm -hmm. put, put all these negative mm -hmm. thoughts in your head, yeah. start to worry, get worry, anxiety going, and that can throw off your hormones just like that. We've got just a couple of minutes left with the Dr. Brian Prax, a sponsor at this program and at the station. We're very grateful for that. And we're talking about reversing neuropathy, which even has a book of that title. And we're going to tell you how to be in touch with them in just a moment. But um, if if people are looking at all of this and they're saying, well, what's the first step? In other words, what's the intake process? How do I get information? Like, how do I make a connection and get started on the road to healing and reversing? Well, let me go in the in the 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 cheapest all the way to the most expensive. Yeah. The Internet's awesome. I will provide my Internet site because I think it's just a great place for them to go and get free data, free information. Mm. First place you'd start is reversingneuropathy.com. Mm. The next one I love is YouTube. I have over 300 videos wow. on there on reversing diabetes and peripheral neuropathy. So you're just going to Google my name, Brian Prax, and then you'll find all these videos. So that's free. You can do that. Um, I'm just about finished writing an entire course called Reversing Neuropathy 101, where it's a do-it-yourself. Mm -hmm. I haven't figured out what the price is, two to $300. Yeah. But I literally lay out everything that they need to do in this course. It'd be like going to school. Yeah. I say, this is how we do it. Here you go. And that can be found on reversingneuropathy.com as well. From there, to answer your question, yeah. if somebody ends up coming into the office, then we would do a consultation. We always do the first one for free. Right. Would you be a good candidate? Yes or no? If so, we'd recommend an exam. We do a detailed exam, figure out how bad the neuropathy is, and then can we help you? If so, what would those treatments look like? Cost, insurance, like all that would be covered in there. Finally, Dr. Prax, I know you've helped a lot of people, and I'm wondering if you might want to share, you got testimonials on your website, but just a, an example of somebody that you helped. You don't have to say the name, but just what happened and then what was the result of your assistance? Yeah, I can think of so many of them, but I'm thinking of Mike. We'll just mm -hmm. say Mike S., okay? Okay. And so avid fisherman, fly fisherman, love getting in and out of the boat, doing his fly fishing and, and uh, just being out there in nature. Well, uh, as life goes on, he started developing conditions, diabetes, well, prediabetes, diabetes, mm -hmm. overweight, obesity, peripheral neuropathy, deadening nerves, numbness, tingling, uh, burning in the nerves, balance starts getting off, 
He's got a brand new boat, can't even get in the boat to fish, right? He, he can't squat to get in. When he gets in, tries to stand up. He's afraid he's going to fall. Not a good situation. So he consulted. We did an exam. We found out he had severe neuropathy and severe neuropathy symptoms. We put him on this lifestyle program. We added some high-tech equipment, essentially, that helps increase circulation and rebuild those nerves. Mm. It's a lot of hard work on his side. He put in the work. He's back out fishing. It's and a sleeping. wonderful story, and, and, and I think that there's a lot of people in the listening audience who could benefit from looking into this and, and taking the first step. Give us the website once again, if you would, Dr. Prax, please. Yeah, reversingneuropathy.com. You can also just look up Brian Prax, a little tough, four little, le- little letters there, P like Peter, R-A-X like X-ray. Okay. If you want to Google me that way. All right. We yeah. appreciate you joining us today on The Shilling Show, Dr. Prax, for the help that you're giving to the community and for the support of the station and the program. We truly appreciate it on all counts. And thank you so much. It's really fun. We will talk again.